this one stays, and then you, you look at the numbers, and then you, you, you calculate these numbers. I mean, that's a, the drill doesn't change. I don't like this chapter, this just, uh, but it is very practically useful though. If you want to say, oh, you have a building the reaction, you can look at the physical chemistry at the, at the end of the books, and you can predict, and then move on from, from there. But, you know, but when I look at this heat of reaction that is shown up here, it looks like this, and the unit is per mole. And this per mole is just give you a concept about per mole. There's nothing, for maybe this is a heat of reaction to generate if this is a one, the compound C was generated, you need to generate this amount of heat. But at the expenses of using two moles of A, right? So this, this unit is different. So what I'm saying here is somebody can write equally write, I don't want two. Can I write one half? And can I write two? You guys can do that, right? If you do that, the answer is going to be half of this. Right? The reason is because the way the, re the reaction is written, and this per mole is not really the, any, any, it's just a representative mole that is compound. You may not have actually compound, actually in this case is you have a per mole basis of A and B. But when, you, when you just think about uh, how much heat do I need to get what produce, let's say 10 kilograms of C, and then you need to calculate based on this mole, mole quantity. Okay? So just uh, for your own. Um, yeah, I forgot about it, so I will make I will make a note. <laughs> and this this textbook is full of you know, type of stuff. Okay. So and then I I have a one last thing to, to talk to you about, which is I mean this this is a really the I'm kind of leaving the most important part out, which is a Every compound, every element have a heat of formation. But the pure elements at one bar pressure at a designated temperature, you can you can really make sense out of this. Whether well, that's a zero and anything else, you have to look for the the table in the textbook or any kind of thermodynamic data <coughs> they have come up. And then the the, the last portion is what is called uh, number four, which is a uh, temperature dependence. Uh, heat of reaction at one bar of pressure. So, you know, we will, what about the temperature too? Uh, when we know about heat of reaction at temperature 1, okay? And then this is more likely than 298. So that's your reference temperature. Uh, that the uh, physical uh, textbook is usually shown. And then you are using this, this one is what is called the Kirchhoff. So this Kirchhoff's equation, Kirchhoff's law, so what you need to do is you need to calculate something that is related to, to, to do that. Uh, in a very naive sense, you, this is a very naive, but you know the delta H is a CP delta T. Do you guys remember this for, for many cases? So it's a, actually the temperature dependence is figuring out the heat capacity change. And so what I'm going to, the Kirchhoff equation is, is actually addressing this, what is called the reaction base heat capacity under constant pressure. So this is the one that they, they did define. And this is the same drill. You figure out what's in the product with the right constant, and then CPM, and the minus, same thing, reactant. Mu and the CP and, and, and that. So you can, because of the table, 
in the thermodynamic table. Thermodynamic data uh, in table two C seven. What was given is essentially data formation, stellar state. Actually, Gibbs free energy will be using in the chapter three, and also they, they provide you CPM and on the constant. The pressure, which is a standard condition. So this data is you can find out, you can use those data, and you can calculate what is a delta reaction CP or heat capacity of the constant pressure. Once you figure that out, and also let's say typically this is a CPM. Heat capacity, molar heat capacity is a typical constant. Nothing is really constant, but this is a constant for an uh, over temperature window that you want to do, then, then your calculation is going to be easy. So what the generic equation is, heat of reaction in the standard state at temperature two is heat of reaction Standard heat of reaction at temperature one plus temperature one, temperature two, delta Cp, standard state over Cp. So that's the uh, uh, reaction. So the Kirchhoff equation essentially addressed how you guys can calculate that, and you guys can calculate these numbers. And like I said, this is a usually simple constant that can be calculated based on, remember this, right? Mu Cp M minus mu C, Cpm. This is a product. This is a reactant. You gotta do a lot of it. The, some of the back of exercise problem is like this. But anyway, it's a constant. So my equation, working equation that is useful here, is just simplified into and Cp Well, you can put that. So that's the equation. that is going to allow us, knowing that I know certain temperature, let's say 298 Kelvin, if somebody says, oh, reaction happened at 100 degrees C, okay. so then you can, you, this is what you want to know, and you, your delta T is 378 minus 298, so I don't know what's the number, but you can calculate those numbers and calculate them. That gives uh, essentially all the information to how to use this data table in the, in the textbook that is given to you. And once you know it, it's going to be pretty useful. And that will be end of it.